If you're like us, choosing where to put your kids in school is a really big deal. We've personally experienced public, private, and charter schools. So we definitely weren't afraid to move our kiddo when we felt that the school or school systems were no longer benefiting our daughter. Yeah, you know, Texas leads the U.S. in the most number of school districts. And as of 2023, there are around 1,029 school districts across Texas comprising over 8,100 schools. And just the four main counties of DFW, including Denton, Dallas, Collin, and Tarrant counties, there are approximately 54 school districts. Now, that's a lot of school districts to choose from. So if schools are a big deal to you, you probably want to stick around for our list of the top 15 best school districts in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So how did we come up with the top 15 best school districts in the Dallas area? Well, we pulled a list from niche.com. They state that they rank the school districts based on analytics of academic and school student life from the U.S. Department of Education along with test scores, college data, and ratings collected from niche users. You can see more about what factors are considered and how much weight they give each on this graphic. If you're looking for something more specific like a STEM program or a strong arts or sports program, that will also help you narrow down your choices. And of course, what city best fits your family will also play a factor. In this video, we're going to show you a map of where each school district is actually located along with how many students are currently served within each school district and how many total schools encompass that district. We'll also show you the most current average home price for the area. Of course, home prices will vary, but we'll at least give you a good idea. All the information about school districts we're giving you, as Brett said, comes directly from niche.com and the Texas Education Agency website, and home pricing comes from our North Texas Real Estate Information Systems, or MLS. So I would encourage you to check out each school district's website for the current student enrollment and number of schools, all the information if you want that most current and accurate information. Number 15 on the list is Keller ISD, which is located within Tarrant County. Keller ISD currently has over 34,000 students in 42 total schools. The current average home price for homes within Keller ISD is just over $523,000. Rockwell ISD comes in at number 14. Rockwell ISD is actually located within Rockwell County, which is just east of Dallas County. There are currently almost 18,000 students and 22 total schools within Rockwell ISD. And the current average home price for homes within that district is just over 542,000. Number 13 on the list is Louisville Independent School District. This is a very large district, covers a lot of area and serves over 49,000 students with 64 total schools. Louisville ISD mainly serves the cities of Louisville, Highland Village, Flower Mound, along with parts of a couple of other cities like the Colony. The current average home price for the homes within the district is just over $605,000. Sunnyvale ISD is number 12 on the list. And Sunnyvale is actually a smaller school district currently serving over 2,000 students with four schools. The district is located on the eastern side of Dallas County and the current average home price is at $830,000. Coming in at number 11 is Argyle ISD, which is located within Denton County. This is another smaller school district currently serving just over 4,000 students with five schools. But I will tell you, it's growing pretty fast with all the new homes popping up within the district. Argyle area is a very popular place to live. The current average home price is just over $783,000. Plano ISD takes the number 10 spot. Located on the southern side of Collin County, Plano ISD is a large school district currently encompassing over 49,000 students with 79 schools. The current average price for homes within the district is close to 613,000. Number nine on the list is Wiley ISD, which is also located in southern end of Collin County, just next to Plano ISD. This district serves over 18,000 students within 21 total schools. The average home sales price is just over $503,000. Allen Independent School District comes in at number eight on the list. Allen ISD is another district located within Collin County. And this district currently has over 21,000 students with 25 total schools. And the average home price within the district is currently at 585,000. 
Coming in at number seven on the list is Prosper ISD. This is another district within Collin County that is seeing a lot of growth. Niche.com is currently noting that the district serves over 25,000 students with 23 schools, but this district website shows that they are expecting and planning for over 50 to 60,000 students. You can go to their website to check out their growth plan and new schools in the works. The average current home sales price in the district is just over $761,000. Highland Park ISD takes the number six spot. Highland Park ISD is located within Dallas County and covers a very small area. There are currently just over 6,700 students with eight schools. Now, the current average sales price for homes within Highland Park ISD is just over 2.8 million, so you may need to have some deep pockets to live within this district. Number five on the list is Grapevine Colleyville ISD. This district sits in the middle of DFW and currently serves over 14,000 students within 21 schools. $732,000 is the current average home price within the Grapevine Colleyville ISD. Frisco ISD sits at the number four spot on the list. This large school district sits in both Denton and Collin counties, and it currently serves around 66,000 students and has 75 total schools. The current average home price for homes within Frisco ISD is at $730,000. Coppell ISD comes in at number three. The district covers the northwest corner of Dallas County, and it currently has just over 13,000 students and 16 schools. Their current average home price within Coppell ISD is $669,000. Coming in at number two is Lovejoy Independent School District. This is a fairly small school district with around 4,300 students and five schools within Collin County. Their website states that they will remain a district with just one high school, and their 9 through 12th grade enrollment will not exceed 1,900 students. And homes within Lovejoy ISD are currently selling for an average price of just over a million dollars. Now, before we tell you which school district is in the number one spot, I'd like to mention that although the average sales price of homes in most of these top school districts is higher than the average of around $400,000 for the DFW area, remember that these numbers are averages. You can find homes under and over that average amount. So don't let that scare you away from a school district that you really feel would be a good fit for your kiddos. And some school districts do allow for out of district transfers. So you can always check to see if that may be an option. Okay, coming in at number one, best school district in the Dallas area is Carroll ISD. Carroll ISD is located in the northeast corner of Tarrant County, and they currently serve almost 8,400 students with 11 schools. The current average home sales price is 1.5 million. Carroll ISD mainly serves the city of Southlake and parts of Westlake, Grapevine, and Keller. If you're thinking of making a move to a better school district within the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, we'll be glad to help. Give us a call or get started with our VIP buyer experience form below. Or you can check out our next video to learn more about the schools in Flower Mound, Texas.